Let's talk about power stations, because they seem to have exploded in popularity in the past few years. So we're going to be checking out the Blue Eddy AC50B. If you want to check out the AC50B or any of the other products I'm using or have used in the past, everything will be linked in the description below. Most of these small power stations are targeted towards campers because they're very powerful and lightweight. The AC50B can put out 700 watts at 446 watt hours and it only weighs about 15 pounds. Now I don't go camping or have any camping gear to test on this, but what I'm going to be mostly using this for is charging my equipment and my lights on the go. In the box, you get a power cable to charge the power station, a DC plug to charge it from your car, and a plug to charge with solar panels. And you obviously get the power station itself. The AC50B is a really nice compact size and feels well built. Nothing really stands out as feeling cheap. You get two AC outlets and one DC outlet, as well as two 65 watt USB-Cs and one USB-C plug. And this is where you would plug in the solar panels. The screen is very bright and can easily read anything even in the sun. Three buttons on the front to turn on the AC and DC currents and the power button for the screen. So fun fact, the power station doesn't actually turn the power station off. So the first few days I was kind of wondering why the power was draining overnight. You need to hold the power button until it says off. Now it's off. There is a smartphone app that goes with Blue Eddy power stations. Gives you some information on power draw and incoming power. You can also change the charging speed from silent to turbo, and on turbo, the AC50B will charge in 70 minutes. If you guys are liking the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will be trying to put out some more YouTube videos more frequently. As I said before, I'm going to be mostly using this power station to charge my video equipment, and it has more than enough power to do all of that. I can charge my gimbals, camera batteries, drone stuff, wireless microphones, laptop, and my phone. I can even bring my studio lights and power both of them and have power left over. I'm also a hobby woodworker and tested some power tools and it handled my small power tools very easy. But when it came to the large power tools like my table saw and band saw, it wasn't enough. There's also a power lift mode that will boost the power output to I think a thousand watts, but that's for power hungry things like space heaters. The AC50B can be charged by solar panels up to 120 watts. Blue Eddy does sell solar panels on their website and they were nice enough to send me a 120 watt kit to test out for the video. I thought they were going to be really heavy and just bulky to move around. There's a zipper pouch to store all the cables so you don't lose them. If you don't have anything to prop them up against, you can just use these little Velcro legs. The solar panels themselves can put out 120 watts, but that's max. So if you have any clouds or trees in the ways, it's obviously going to be less. But it's a really nice option to have in case of an emergency. You can charge your power station if you're without power for a long period of time. Overall, I think this is a really good budget option for content creators or weekend campers. If you've made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate it and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description if you want to check out any of the tech I've reviewed. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.